we are discussing MT3000D. It is a 0.05% accuracy energy meter testing reference. And uh, here in this small setup, we have uh, simulated uh, actual load condition and the energy is going through a single phase energy meter and three phase energy meter also. So currently we are just uh, showing you the testing of a three phase energy meter that how uh, we see the how we calibrate the three phase energy meter with a 0.05% accuracy. So uh, as you can see in this MT3000D you can see this cable it is a voltage cable and uh, it is having R, Y, B and neutral four points and uh, we just we connected these four points so that the MT3000D can get the real voltage signal three phase voltage signal in the system now what we have done is that this MT3000D is having uh, three ways of connecting first way is that uh, we have a 5 ampere range it is very accurate then we have a 20 ampere range it is also very accurate then we can we have a clamp uh, CTs also so we have different type of CTs then this is a optical scanner if you just see this this optical scanner we have connected to the energy meter and it is getting signals from this energy meter now uh, to test this energy meter uh, we have uh, we, we have just put this MT3000D in series with the with this energy meter so this uh, black cable is going through going to this part and uh, then rest uh, yellow green and red cable have been connected here so the energy so the energy is flowing to the meter then it is going down through this MCCB energy is coming over here and then from here it is going inside our MT3000D and from there it is going again coming out and it is coming to this point and then load is connected so our uh, MT3000D is in series of the connection now if we can see the error part so first thing is as you can see first first thing is the display in which you can see the voltage the current and uh, the phase angle active power reactive power so and frequency all the data you can see and even you can see the uh, vector diagram also now if you if you just want to check the error of the uh, of the meter you can very well see that we have entered 1800 constant of this energy meter and uh, if you see the error is 0 0.719 and this er uh, energy meter is of class 1 so it is very easy to see uh, the error of the energy meter and uh, we can save the results also as you can see right so if we just see like this so uh, these are the all options available now the second thing is ratio in this mode we have a, a 100 ampere clamp in MT3000 uh, D and we have a 1000 ampere clamp also and 2000 ampere clamp also so what we do is we just connect that 1000 2000 ampere clamp in a series uh, means on the on the primary circuit like this uh, it is a like uh, it is 100 ampere clamp so we will just put in the primary side of the circuit and secondary side we will connect through this in a series of the circuit and uh, in this way we can just find out the ratio of the CT also so in this uh, in this mode we can just directly find out the ratio of the CT in our uh, real system without the shutdown if you just check harmonics then the third button is of harmonics 
in harmonics you can easily see that first first harmonic percentage is 100% it is a 50 hertz supply and there is a component of third harmonic also fourth also fifth also these are the small harmonic components and uh, like this is for voltage a voltage b voltage c current a current b current c so th these all harmonics are uh, available over there and if you can see that you can get the data of up to 50th harmonic of a system so when we talk about uh, 50th harmonic it's like uh, 2500 uh, 2500 Hertz so uh, in the same device you can test an energy meter also and you can get the harmonic data also you just uh, see if you if we just return then the fifth option is CT if you just check on CT in this mode you can easily find out what is the burden of the CT and uh, it will calculate the current voltage and uh, it will measure the current and voltage and then find out the burden of a CT. Similarly in this mode you can find out the burden of a PT also. So then uh, if we go back then there is a, a single last option parameter and in parameter we enter the constant and uh, basic basic things that what is the name of meter and whatever 